There are several wonderful animals throughout the world that people have made fast friends with because humans are very social creatures. We enjoy bonding with other people as well as cute little creatures that we think would make great pets. There are some creatures in this world, however, that would be hard to keep considering how dangerous they are. Many people try, of course, but it can be very dangerous. From the blue-ringed octopus to the death stalker scorpion, you wouldn't believe how dangerous some of the creatures on this planet are and the kind of pain they can cause. Make sure to stick around until the end. You wouldn't want to miss the world's deadliest caterpillar. Here are 15 animals that will put you in a coffin if you go poking at them. Number 15. Fire Carl. Fire Carl is a type of Carl that is often mistaken for plant life by people who spot it within the depths of the sea. Found in tropical oceans, this Carl is known for its vibrant colors and patterns. Fire Carl is not actually a plant but a type of marine invertebrate completely separate and distinct from plant life. This Carl is often found in reefs and is a popular destination for scuba divers and snorkelers which is what makes it so dangerous. Fire coral is not considered to be a major threat to humans, but can cause serious irritation if it comes into contact with the skin. If you come into contact with fire coral, a row of white bumps will form on your skin where you brushed against it. These bumps will burn pretty severely over the next few days, though some success has been seen in treating them with vinegar. The best solution, however, is to stay as far away as possible from any red and orange coral you may see while deep in the ocean. Number 14. The Indian Red Scorpion The Indian Red Scorpion is a species of scorpion that is native to India, and it is one of the most venomous scorpions in the world and is responsible for many deaths each year. The Indian Red Scorpion is reddish-brown in color and can reach a length of up to 8 centimeters 3 inches. It has a large bulbous stinger that is filled with a power venom. This venom is capable of causing severe pain, paralysis, and even death. The Indian red scorpion is nocturnal and hunts for its prey at night. It feeds on insects, spiders, and small mammals, and has been known to sting humans whenever it is disturbed. The Indian red scorpion is found in the tropical and subtropical regions of India and Sri Lanka. It is a common scorpion in the Indian subcontinent and is found in the states of Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, and Telangana. The Indian red scorpion is also found in the countries of Nepal, Bhutan, and Bangladesh. The fact that it's so common means that there are many more deaths due to its sting each year than would be expected, despite many warnings to stay away. Number 13. Africanized Honeybees the Africanized honeybee, or Apis mellifera scutellata, is a honeybee subspecies that was first introduced to Central and South America in 1956. Unlike its European honeybee counterpart, Africanized bees are known for their aggressive behavior. Africanized bees will attack in large swarms when their hive is disturbed, and their stings are more painful than those of other honeybees. Africanized bees have since spread throughout much of the Americas, and their range continues to expand. Band. These bees were not actually naturally formed, but were rather artificially bred in order to create a more efficient bee for American beekeepers. They fulfill this purpose well, but are also much more dangerous and aggressive than other bees used within the trade. As a result, it's a difficult decision as to whether or not to use them, especially if the beekeeper is particularly susceptible to their painful stings. Although there are not any confirmed deaths related to stings by Africanized honeybees, there has been scientific evidence that people who are allergic to bee stings may have a more dramatic reaction to a sting by Africanized bees than any other species, making them even more dangerous to those people. Number 12. Sea Urchin Sea urchins are interesting creatures that many people don't even think of as animals. They are actually a part of the echinoderm family that includes sea stars and sea cucumbers. 
They have a spiny exterior and are usually black or purple on the outside with five rays coming out of the center. Each ray has lots of small spines on it which are generally used for protection. The center of the urchin is actually where the mouth is and they have small sharp teeth to help them eat. They eat things like algae, kelp, and other organic matter. Sea urchins are found all over the world in both deep water and shallow water. They are usually found on rocks or near coral reefs, and they are a very important part of the marine ecosystem because they help keep the coral reefs clean. The issue comes when humans touch them. Their spines often contain a very intense toxin, which results in extreme discomfort, inflammation, and even death. Because of this, people have to be very careful when diving to ensure that they don't puncture a hole in their diving suit by touching a spine. Number 11. Brazilian Wandering Spider the Brazilian wandering spider is one of the most dangerous spiders in the world. It is a member of the Phonutria genus of spiders, which also contains the armed spiders. The Brazilian wandering spider is found in tropical South and Central America, where the climate is warm and wet. The Brazilian wandering spider is a large brown spider with a leg span of up to 12 centimeters, 4.7 inches. The female spider is larger than the male, which is common in most spider species throughout the world. The spider's body is covered in prickly hair, and it has two large chelicerae fangs. The spider's venom is very potent and is considered to be one of the most dangerous spiders in the world because of that potency paired with the number of people it bites. The Brazilian wandering spider is nocturnal and it hunts at night. The spider is aggressive and it will attack if it feels threatened, no matter how much bigger the attacker is. The spider's venom is very potent and it can cause serious health problems in humans, including paralysis and death. It is reportedly an incredibly painful bite and, if not treated immediately, is almost certainly a death sentence. Number 10. The Blue Ringed Octopus the blue-ringed octopus is a species of cephalopod in the genus Hapalaclina. It is one of the most venomous creatures in the world and is found in the waters around Australia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. The octopus gets its name from the blue rings that appear on its body when it's threatened or agitated. These rings are warning to predators that the octopus is venomous and a sign that they probably shouldn't try to eat it. The venom of the blue-ringed octopus is strong enough to easily kill a human, and there is no known animal. Antidote. The blue ringed octopus is a small creature growing to a maximum size of about 20 centimeters 8 inches. It has a white or cream colored body with blue rings that encircle its eyes and run along the length of its arms. When the octopus is threatened, the rings will glow brightly and the octopus will display its arms in a defensive posture. If the octopus is further agitated, it will release a cloud of venomous ink. The blue-ringed octopus feeds on small crabs and shrimp. It uses its venom to paralyze its prey before eating it. The venom is also used as a defense against predators, and it has no problem using it against humans. Because there is no known antidote, the best cure is to just stay out of the waters where the octopus resides. Number 9. The Cone Snail the cone snail is a carnivorous predatory animal that is found in marine environments. They are a member of the phylum mollusca, which also includes sea slugs and oysters. Cone snails are cone-shaped and can grow up to 6 inches in length, and they can have a siphon on their head, which they can use to draw in water and breathe. Cone snails are found in tropical and subtropical waters all over the world. Cone snails are predators that use a venomous harpoon-like tooth to capture their prey. They are known to prey on fish, worms, and other small invertebrates. The venom of a cone snail is powerful enough to kill a human, though reports of humans dying from the venom of the cone snail are rare. This is because they are generally pretty careful with their venom and only use it for hunting. Cone snails are collected by humans for their shells, which are used in jewelry and other decorations. The venom of a cone snail is also used in research and to make a number of medical products. Number 8. Flamboyant Cuttlefish the flamboyant cuttlefish is a species of cuttlefish found in the tropical waters of the western Pacific Ocean. It is known for its unique mating displays in which the male cuttlefish uses its colorful body to attract females. The flamboyant cuttlefish is a small species of cuttlefish reaching a maximum size of around 15 centimeters. It is easily distinguished from other cuttlefish species by its brightly colored body, which is patterned with white, yellow, and red stripes. 
These are, as mentioned, used for mating purposes, but they are also used to warn predators that the fish is incredibly venomous. The toxin that it creates has the potential to kill humans quite easily, and therefore it's not exactly the ideal lunch for a hungry fish. During mating season, male flamboyant cuttlefish put on a spectacular display to attract females. They will often swim upside down, showing off their colorful underside. They may also change the color and pattern of their body to make themselves more conspicuous. It's an incredible sight if you get past just how deadly they are. Number 7. Real Life Sea Dragon The blue swallow is a sea slug that can be found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. It is a type of nudibranch, which is a group of soft-bodied marine gastropod mollusks that lack shells. Nudibranches are known for their vibrant colors and interesting shapes. The blue swallow sea slug gets its name from its beautiful blue color and the fact that it often swims using its large, flat wings. The blue swallow sea slug is a hermaphrodite, meaning that it has both male and female reproductive organs. This allows it to mate with any other blue swallow sea slug that it meets. The two slugs will exchange sperm, which will fertilize the eggs that each slug is carrying. The fertilized eggs will be deposited on the ocean floor, where they will hatch into baby sea slugs. The blue swallow sea slug is not considered to be a major threat to humans although the venom that it creates is certainly quite potent. They don't have any interest in attacking people, however, so as long as you don't go out of your way to touch it, you'll be all right. Number 6. The Tiger Pufferfish the tiger pufferfish, also known as fugu or takafugu, is a poisonous fish that is eaten as a delicacy in some parts of the world. The poison in the fish is called tetrodetoxin, and it is 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. There is no known antidote for tetrodotoxin. The Japanese government tightly regulates the harvesting and sale of fugu, and only licensed chefs are allowed to prepare the fish. Chefs must undergo years of training and pass a rigorous government examination before they are licensed. This is due to the fact that even if a small portion of the fish is prepared incorrectly, the person who eats it is almost guaranteed to die. There was even an incident where an unprepared fish was accidentally used, and the Japanese government used its missile alert system in order to get in contact with anyone who may have purchased it. Despite the dangers, fugu is considered a delicacy in Japan, and it is often served at high-end restaurants. A typical fugu meal can cost hundreds of dollars due to the amount of work and training it requires to prepare it. Before we go on, do like this video, smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or the centipede will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. It's time for today's subscriber pick. This image was submitted by a concerned viewer who found it during a routine hike out in the desert region of his country. And despite alerting authorities as to its location, they were unable to find it when they returned to the location later on. It appears to be some sort of camel or horse type creature, but the fact that it's missing a head is definitely concerning. There are rumors surrounding similar animals like this in the region which claim that if you ever touch the corpse, you'll experience an intense pain in your arm for weeks afterwards. It's definitely not a rumor that I'd ever want to put to the test. What type of creature do you think this is? Do you think that it was alive and got up to move, or do you think that it was covered up by a government entity? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag subscriber pick and let us know what you think. Now on to the next topic. Number 5. Harvester Ants The harvester ant is a species of ant that's known to be able to travel long distances in search of food. These ants are native to the Americas, where they are found in the United States, Mexico, and parts of Central and South America. Harvester ants are reddish-brown in color and are typically about half an inch in length. These ants are known for their large mandibles, which they use to harvest seeds and other food sources. Harvester ants typically live in colonies of up to 10,000 individuals. Their mandibles are not only good for getting into food sources, of course, bites from the harvester ant are considered to be incredibly painful, and most people have allergic reactions to them even if they're not generally allergic to insect bites. 
Although the bite will not kill a human, the amount of pain it causes is known to be incredibly debilitating, to the point where many wish they were dead while experiencing it. Number 4. Death Stalker Scorpion The Death Stalker Scorpion is a species of scorpion that is considered to be the most venomous in the world. Death Stalker Scorpions are found in North America and the Middle East, though they have also become quite common in the pet trade. Because of this, there are small instances of released scorpions doing well in the wild in places like Arizona and Texas. The venom of the Death Stalker Scorpion is extremely potent and can cause paralysis, respiratory failure, and death. Treatment for a Death Stalker Scorpion sting is available. but it is often ineffective. The venom contains a mix of neurotoxins and cytotoxins, making for an extremely painful and extremely unpleasant death. It's quite bizarre, but these scorpions are actually common in the pet trade because of how dangerous they are. People like to live dangerously, and this little creature is certainly a way to do that. Number 3. The Irukandji Jellyfish the Irukandji jellyfish is a jellyfish that is only a few millimeters long, but despite its small size, it can be incredibly dangerous to humans. This jellyfish is found in tropical waters around Australia and in the Indo-Pacific region, and usually it is found in shallow waters near the coast. The Irukandji jellyfish is transparent and has a round body with four long, thin tentacles. This, paired with its size, means that it can be incredibly difficult to see in the water, which has resulted in many accidental stings. Its sting is very painful and can cause severe health problems, including an increased heart rate, high blood pressure, sweating, nausea, and vomiting. In severe cases, the sting can be fatal. The condition it causes is actually called Irinkanji syndrome, and there is very little that can be done for people suffering from it. Generally, they just have to be monitored, kept hydrated, and they have to work through it on their own. Number 2. Crown of Thorn Starfish the crown of thorn starfish is one of the most destructive predators in the world. They're capable of destroying an entire coral reef in a very short amount of time, with a single starfish being able to consume up to 6,000 square meters of living coral per year. The crown of thorn starfish is a very voracious predator. It feeds on a wide variety of corals, including the staghorn and elkhorn corals. These corals are very important to the health of the Great Barrier Reef. Because of this, this particular species of starfish is thought to be responsible for the decline of up to 40% of the coral cover in the Great Barrier Reef, which has massive ramifications on the life that uses it as a home. The crown of thorn starfish is a very difficult predator to control. They are very difficult to kill, and they reproduce very quickly. A single female can produce up to 60,000 eggs at a time. The crown of thorn starfish is generally found in the Indo-Pacific region, but has been spotted in coral reefs throughout the world. Although it does have a rather potent venom, the real danger that it poses to humans is environmental. Number 1. World's Deadliest Caterpillar the Lanomia obliqua caterpillar is one of the world's most dangerous caterpillars. It is native of South America and is found in Paraguay, Brazil, and Bolivia. The caterpillar is usually bright green with orange stripes, though it's been seen in a variety of colors and can grow up to 2 inches in length. It is covered in sharp spines that can penetrate human skin, which many describe as feeling like fiberglass. If a person is stung by one of these caterpillars, they will experience intense pain, swelling, and inflammation at the site of the sting. In some cases, the venom from the caterpillar sting can cause tissue death, and it has even been known to be fatal. This is quite unfortunate because many people think these caterpillars are quite cute and may just reach out to touch one without knowing whether or not it is harmful. This has likely resulted in the tragic death of several children throughout the world and definitely makes this the world's deadliest caterpillar. So which of these animals do you think are the most dangerous? Do you think people will ever fully understand just how deadly these animals can be and that they should stay away at all costs? Tell us in the comments below. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us understand what kind of videos you enjoy, and that way we can tell what kind of topics you're looking for next. Tap that bell icon if you're always looking to learn new things, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.